here we've got if a projectile is launched from ground level at a speed of 128 feet per second, its height at t seconds from launch, so t is the number of seconds after it's been launched, is h, the height, is negative 16 t squared plus 128 t. The question is, during what period of time is it at least 192 feet above ground? So we want to know for what period is H going to be greater than 192, which is the same thing as saying negative 16 t squared plus 128 t is greater than 192. If negative 16 t squared plus 128 t is greater than 92, 192, then remember, first thing we wanna do is solve the equation, change it to an equals, What you cannot do is set this greater than zero and then set the factors greater than zero. That does not work. You solve the equation find your intervals. You can mark the solutions on a number line and determine what your intervals are. And then test each interval. By plugging in a test value. So we're gonna set this to an equation. We're gonna say negative 16 t squared plus 128 t is equal to 192. Now, whether you use the quadratic formula, which you might wanna do here, or whether you factor it, you've gotta set it equal to zero. So we've got negative 16 t squared plus 128t minus 192 is equal to zero. Now, in this case, it might not always be true, but in this case, we can actually factor out the negative 16, which will make it t squared plus This is going to change that to a negative because I factored out a negative 16. So it's t squared minus 8t plus 192 divided by 16 is 12 equals 0. So now it would be fairly easy to factor. Uh, negative 16 is not a factor that can ever equal zero, so we can actually just forget about that one. If that was a 16t, that would be an entirely different situation. But because it's just a 16, negative 16 can never equal zero. So we're only concerned with the factors that could equal zero. Factors of 12 that add up to 8 are 2 and 6. To get a negative 8, we need a negative 2 and a negative 6. This is going to give us t is equal to 2 and t is equal to 6. So we solve the equation. We're about to find the intervals and test, but I need some more space. 
So if I put two and six on a number line, that's gonna give me above six, below two, and between. Well, negative, inter negative infinity isn't gonna work in this case because this can actually only be valid from zero, and I could include that from zero to two, and then there's also gonna be an upper limit where it's gonna be back on the ground that I haven't found yet. So right now I'm just gonna call that after six seconds. This is between the second and sixth second, and this is from the time it's launched to the second second. And since this should fall in a symmetrical pattern, I'm kind of guessing that if I were to plug in an eight, I haven't proven this, but I imagine if I plug in an eight, it would be back on the ground. So obviously this equation is not going to be tracking its motion after it hits the ground again. So our intervals, we've got zero to two, two to six, and I'm pretty sure it's six to eight. If after six is when this occurs, then I'm gonna to have to actually find when it hits the ground. Right now, let's just find a test value. How about one? How about four? How about seven? So if I plug in one, I'm gonna have negative 16 times one squared plus 128 times one. If I plug in a four, negative 16 times four squared plus 128 times four, negative 16 times seven squared plus 128 times seven. I want to know when this is greater than 192, so let's see what we get. Negative 16 times 1 squared would be negative 16 plus 128 is 112. Is 112 greater than 192? No. How about four squared is 16, 16 times 16 is 256, negative. So I've got negative 256 plus 128 times four is 512. 512 minus 256 is 256. So when I plug in the four at four seconds, it's 256 feet above the ground which is greater than 192. And at seven, seven squared is 49 times 16. So here I've got 784, that'll be negative, negative 16 times 49, 128 times seven, is that's going to be a positive 896 896 minus 784 is 112 and 120 fell 120 fell 120 
112 is not greater than 192, so that is false. So the interval that works is two to six. So therefore, it is at least, which means more than, 192 feet above the ground from the second to the sixth second or I could put from two is less than T is less than six.